Hello, my beautiful souls. It's me, Heina. If you didn't already know, this is the third part of my delinquent series. So if you haven't checked out the previous two, I highly recommend you to do so. Not only will it entertain you, but it'll also, most importantly, give me more money. And who doesn't love money? Obviously not me. And you have... <laughs> And if you haven't already, my little chonkers, follow me on my social so we can stay connected. And I also have a new channel dedicated for gaming. Well, that's it. Bye bye. Over here. Don't ask why I'm hiding in the bushes. Just come here. Hey, were you looking for me? Really? That long? <laughs> you were running around in circles in there? <laughs> I'm really, really sorry about that. Shh, shh. I swear I can explain everything. So remember that paper Leah wrote for our class advisor, saying I shouldn't be allowed to attend prom and all of that crap? Yeah, I thought we handled all of that already in the previous episode, but it turns out she already told her gang of council members about it. And one of them saw me earlier. They saw me at the food tables. Hmm? Well, I'm sorry. I was just trying to take some quesadilla with me. Okay? I got hungry running around through hoops just to avoid them. Walking in these heels feels like a goddamn workout. Give me your hands. I'll show you how sweaty my armpits are. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyway. I somehow managed to avoid most of them. And that's how I ended up in the shrubs outside of the building. I've been here for so long. Yeah, I was waiting for you to find me. It's quite comfy in here, actually. If you ignore all the bugs. Wait, I have a leaf on my hair? Uh, oh, thanks. Uh, it's been uh, about half an hour, I guess. Hmm? You talking about my dress? Nah, I don't really care about it. I bought it from this cheap hand-me-down store right across my apartment. <laughs> but you gotta admit, I still look good though. <laughs> Thanks for feeding my ego. Hmm? What's my plan now? Well, I obviously don't intend on going back in there and facing Leah's wrath. Oh, did I mention that I found something interesting while I was walking through the woods earlier? Well, yeah. I didn't want to waste the opportunity. Look up. It's a full moon tonight. It's the brightest I've ever seen in a while. I thought it was a good idea to wander through the woods since it's not that dark. Haha, <laughs> I've expected nothing less from such a normie. Has the thought of leaving behind humanity and going to the woods forever not occurred to you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Jeez, loosen up. I'm fine, see? This noggin may be academically challenged, but I have an excellent sense of direction. Plus, I did the Hansel and Gretel thing where I left stones to lead me back here. Pretty good, huh? The trail is still there, so I want you to come take a look at me. It's way more interesting than prom anyway. I promise it'll just be a quick trip. Do you trust me? Good. Don't worry about it. I got you. Watch your step. The ground is pretty slippery. Wow. 
Look at this wreck. It's massive, huh? Looks like a house was burned to the ground here. Or perhaps a cabin. Looks fairly recent too. I give it around two or three days ago. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. It looks like a typical crime scene. <laughs> that's why I wanted to bring you here. Um, I found something interesting somewhere around these parts too. Uh, look. See how this patch of land is different from the surrounding soil? This looks like it's been dug out from that pile of dirt. And if I just lay down beside it... Oop, uh, there we go. It's about the same size as me. So, using my highly acclaimed detective prowess, I'm guessing someone was buried here. Perhaps it was someone around our age. I also think, since this grave seems pretty shallow, that if we start digging right now, we'd eventually find a body. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. Yes, I was kidding, dummy. I was just trying to scare you. <laughs> and you fell for it. What? No, I didn't make this shit up. What do you mean? Hey, I may be crafty, but I can't pull a stunt like this just to trick you. And you really think I'd want to spend the night digging through grass in our prom outfits? <laughs> you can be quite gullible sometimes, you know that? <laughs> well, I would be lying if I didn't say I find that endearing. It's so cute how much you believe in everything I say. I bet if I told you to run around naked at school, you'd do it. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing with you. Relax. This isn't the only thing I found interesting in the woods. It's just a little more further ahead. Chill out. I swear it's not as bad as this one. <laughs> We're here, come on. Okay. Now, open your eyes. Ta-da! It's a lake in the middle of the woods. It's so scenic, isn't it? Look how the moon is reflected in the water. It looks like diamonds sparkling. Well, I think you already know where this is going. And if you're scared, I can be the first one to initiate it. Huh? What do you mean you're not ready? Not ready for what, exactly? Then why am I taking off my clothes? Oh, you pervert! I didn't mean doing that. It's not that kind of all right? Do you want us to get demonetized? I just thought it would be a fun idea to take a little dip in the lake, dummy. Well, here I go! Come on, the water feels great! It's not cold at all. What? You don't know how to swim? Don't worry, I got you. I work part-time as a lifeguard. I can assure you, you're safe with me. There we go. I knew you weren't chicken. You can come over here slowly if you're scared. It's not that deep. There we go. With your baby steps, alright? <laughs> See? Feels nice, right? Ah, who knew we'd spend the night like this? I love you. <laughs> what? You're still embarrassed about it? Don't I tell you that I love you every chance I get? And you're still not used to it? Is it because I kissed you? 
<laughs> He's so adorable. Come on, look at me. Look at me straight in the eyes and say it back. I'm not gonna let you go until you say it to me. Now, that's right. I love you. Here we go. That wasn't so bad, right? Hmm? There we go. Now you're getting the hang of it. Hmm. Here you go. You can dry your hair using the ends of my dress. I don't really mind. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, sit down with me. <sighs> Doesn't this remind you of the first time we confessed to each other about how we feel? The moon was this bright that time too. <laughs> I still remember how red you were after you kissed me. And how soft your lips were. I honestly didn't think you'd be the first one to initiate something like that. I was sure you were a coward when it came to these things, but I was wrong. I'm glad I was wrong. I'd never fess up if it was up to me. <sighs> soulmates. Yeah, soulmates. Back when I was younger, I used to hear my dad say that he and my mom were souls destined for each other. They were soulmates, he said to me. <laughs> I used to believe it because it did seem true back then. <laughs> they looked happy being together. I was happy to see them love each other like that. But as they grew up, I started to see the cracks hidden beneath the facade. They fought a lot. At night, when they thought I was asleep. I felt helpless, cause I couldn't do anything. It even occurred to me that maybe I was the reason why their marriage was failing. I couldn't fix the gap between them. And I used to hate myself for being so useless. It only got worse when my dad fell ill. Mom was almost never home during that time. She was out. Flirting with some other men. Sometimes she'd even bring home one of them. And she expected me to just deal with it. I couldn't say any of that to my bedridden father. It was better that way. It was better that he passed away not knowing any of that shit. That's why I hate the word soulmate. Even saying that word leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Whoever thought of that idea is a fucking dumbass to me. I don't believe in naive things such as destiny or fated lovers. I don't believe people can fall in love forever and belong to each other. It all just sounds impossible to me. But I have hope in what I feel for you. I hope you're the one who will change the way I think. To be honest, I've never really been this close to anyone before. Even though my heart is trying to deny it, <laughs> I still want to foolishly believe that we were meant to be together. <laughs> and it's all because of you. You and your stupid face. I may seem tough on the outside, but 
truthfully, I'm afraid of getting hurt. But I... I trust you. I've already placed my heart in your hands, so you better take care of it. I don't think I'd ever find someone like you out there. So please, don't leave me behind. If we ever fight, let's not hide what we feel. Let's talk about it, okay? I love you. Deeply and truly. And in every sense of the word. Anyway, I think it's time we head back. It's already late and I think the party's already over. I want to hang out with you a little more. Is it okay? If I spend the night at your place, that is. Really? Yes! Uh, thank you. Now let's start walking back if we want to go to your house before the sun rises. Let's sleep in today. And tomorrow I'll make you brunch. Sounds good to you? Nice. I'm sleeping in your bed too, by the way. <laughs> 